So as you can see on page 414, we have a nice, beautiful uh, lateral skull here. Um, and we're able to see that cella tersica. Um, do you need to know the different parts of the cella tersica? The anterior clinoids, posterior clinoids, uh, dorsum celli. I am here to say yes. And I am saying that with a smile, even though you can't see me right now. So you do need to know those, identify those. Um, but you should be able to see the SOMs superimposing each other, EAMs superimposing each other, um, the mastoids or the, the um, mastoids and petrous ridges are going to be this nice, thick, dense area right there, um, superimposed. We can also look at the cortex of the skull. If there's any sort of rotation, you'll be able to tell looking at that cortex. It should be nice and pretty and one white line if there's any rotation or tilt. Um, it will almost look like a double image. So, um, so it's pretty easy to critique a lateral, um, but the key is making sure that the patient just doesn't rest their head up against that IR, which is usually the problem. Uh, you'll want to make sure that those lines are nice, perpendicular, and parallel.